my question to yourself is, right? If you know Islam to be the truth, then what's stopping you from becoming Muslim right now and guaranteeing yourself paradise? Nothing's really stopping me apart from my mum. Okay. Now, how is your mum stopping you? Because how can your mum restrict the belief you have in your heart? How does she have control over that? She's, she's just discouraging me. She's saying no, it's fake. And she's saying okay. no, it's fake. Fake based on what? Why is it fake? She's saying that, oh, God doesn't exist in that. I'm like, based on what? Because the fact of the matter is, I would argue Islam is a logical, rational religion. Does that make sense? So the Quran actually advises us to to, to reflect, to ponder. So um, so yeah, so right now reflect and ponder upon the creation and there are signs for the believers. So my question to yourself is, what evidence does she come with? And I hope you re debunk them. Because I think she's not really coming with evidence, she's just making a emotional argument, right? So I don't think that's changed your belief in your heart. Yeah. So why don't you testify to what you believe in your heart? Are you ready to do it now? Yeah? Now before you do it, can I walk you through the five pillars which I assume you already know? Um, Tawid is the most important one, which is, it ties into um, Shahada. Because you know, you're testifying um, that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah. So Tawid is part of knowing Allah. Yeah? And not making partners with Allah. Yeah? So that's part of the Shahada. And then the testimony that the Prophet uh, Muhammad was a messenger sent by Allah, which you believe. Yeah? Then the second pillar is praying five times a day. How do you feel about that? Yeah? Because the fact of the matter is, it's your personal journey. Um, once you know how to pray, it's that daily connection with Allah. It protects you from uh, immorality and fasha, shameless behavior. Yeah, because when you're going to be shameless, like you wake up, you pray. In the afternoon, you pray. In the midday, you pray. In the night, you pray. Uh, before you go to sleep, you pray. It's like it's a regular connection with God. Yeah. Then you've got giving zakat, which is 2.5% of your annual wealth. Money you haven't spent in one calendar year, um, then you give to charity. Then you've got fasting in the month of Ramadan. Yeah. And then you have um, Hajj, which is the holy pilgrimage. Yeah. Do you have any issues with those? Okay. Do you believe? in Jesus Christ as a me messenger sent by God? Do you believe he's a messenger sent by God? Um, I don't believe in Christianity. No, no, no. As in, as Muslims, we believe in Jesus Christ yeah. as a messenger sent by God. Yeah. Um, as somebody who submitted his will, will to God, who was a, who was a Muslim, he, he submitted his will to God. Does that make sense? The same way Moses was a Muslim, he submitted his will to God. But you don't make you don't believe Jesus Christ is God, right? Brilliant. So right now, to be a Muslim, there's six articles of faith. Yeah? Very briefly, very quickly. Uh, the first is the belief in Allah. Uh, in no particular order. The second is in regards to belief in the angels. Do you believe in angels? Yeah. Belief in all the messengers of God. So Adam, Noah, David, Suleiman, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon all of them. Message of God, do you believe that? Yeah. Then the books that was revealed to them. Um, and the last book, which is the Quran, which you believe in, right? Okay. And then you have um, that decree, good and bad, is all from Allah. Yeah, divine decree, Qatar. Yeah. And the belief in judgment day. That Allah is gonna call us to account to uh, for our deeds, basically. Yeah. So now, sister, are you willing to <laughs> testify in with your tongue what you believe in your heart? Yeah. So I'm gonna say it in English, and then we say in Arabic. Yeah. So repeat after me in English. Uh, I bear witness. 
that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah. And I bear witness that the Prophet Muhammad is the Prophet and Messenger sent by Allah. Yeah. So now I'm going to say in Arabic, Ashadu, Allah, Ilaha, Illallah, Washadu, Anna, Muhammadan, Abduhu, Wa Rasulu. That statement with the belief in your heart has, alhamdulillah, wiped away all of your sins. You've just become a Muslim. How does it feel? Yeah. May Allah bless you. Alhamdulillah. So now, um, like I said, all your past sins are wiped. Now you can start the journey in regards to speaking to you, like gaining knowledge. Yeah. The more knowledge you have, then you can actually customize that to kind of rebuttal and um, have dialogue and discourse with family members, introduce it to it. But before you do that, be firm in regards to what you believe. There's no point you jumping into water and swim and save someone when you don't know how to swim. So make yourself a strong swimmer, gain strong knowledge, and like you said, Tawheed. First and foremost, Tawheed. Um, knowing Allah is unique in His names and attributes. Um, knowing Allah is unique in His Lordship. Knowing that Allah is one and alone, worthy of worship. Does it make sense? So these elements, look deep into it. Reading the Qur'an, keeping that daily connection with the Qur'an. Um, keeping good company, um, reading your Salah. Uh, do you have any questions for me, sister? No. Um, I just I have one question actually. Here you go, Miss Mila. Um, this is not going to be posted online, is it? Um, what we're going to do, we're going to put it on YouTube and we're going to blur you out. Alright. Yeah? If you want, I can get them to change your voice. You want me to change your voice? No, that's fine. Just blur that as an F, yeah? Uh, that's fine. Um, was that your question? That's very anticlimactic. I'm like, one question. Yeah, we're going to blur you out. Um, I'll give you, like, we've got um, Dow to the Soul, we've got. Sam Dawa, we've got You Know Upon the Hug, we've got SF Dawa and Dawa Dan, and we've got, well, we've got Continuous Message Foundation here as well. So all of this is going to be posted there, but it's very motivational. Um, what was it exactly that um, motivated you or made you look into Islam and make you know that, look, I want to take the Shahada? Um, I've actually, like, I've studied Christianity a bit, like, growing up. I went to like Catholic schools and that. Okay, I so never well. found myself to believe anything, like not the slightest bit. It didn't. It just didn't make sense to me. Yeah. But um, now I go to a school where almost like every student is Muslim, Mashallah. and I've seen how like they practice Islam, and like I was just like, I this is the only religion like I believe in. You know? Subhanallah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Um, what I'm going to do is a star. I'm going to give you a number for another sister, um, Reva as well. Um, if you message her, um, then she can put you in touch with other sisters, circles and um, like new Muslim circles and so on and so forth. I don't even know where this goes, but I'm just going to hold on to it. Um, is, is that okay? Yeah. So let me do that now. Okay. So if you take this number, no, no, no. Uh, I'm just giving a uh, contact details for River. Pardon? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So the number's there. Thank you. Yeah. Um, drop her a text message now, a WhatsApp message, and then she'll put you in touch with our reverts. And the main thing is, you know when it comes to hijab and stuff, right? Um, Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. What's up, bro? Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah that's fine. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, yeah, in regards to the first contention you had, right, when your mum was telling you about hijab, like, 
at the end of the day, that's your personal journey where, depending on how modestly you want to dress, um, what dress code you want to adopt, and how you want to do it, um, that, that's not what makes a Muslim art. That's not what makes a Muslim. Does it make sense? Um, it's more rewarding, it's more you submitting to God's will, it's you following the guidance, perfect guidance. Does it make sense? But the core thing is the belief in your heart. Yeah? So don't feel like, oh, if your mom or somebody comes and criticizes the dress code, like, that's not the main thing about Islam. So if you want to criticize something, then come, let's talk theology. Let's talk about belief. Let's talk about preservation of the Quran. Let's talk about the lifestyle of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which they're not going to be able to find any issues with. Does it make sense? And whilst you go through your journey, you'll be able to actually see that you can rebuttal anything they come with. Yeah? So in Islam, um, I just wanted to kind of give you that element. So I don't want you to feel um, pressured or feel like how the state of your Islam is connected to your dress code. Yeah? And secondly, alhamdulillah, now that you've taken your shahada, you can go home, like, have a bath, and then you can pray your first salah. Do you know how to pray? <laughs> you know how to pray. So David, you'd be surprised that man people how to take the shahada and it's like they know how to pray and they know all these different things, but they didn't quite know how to become a Muslim. So, I mean I think with yourself, Alhamdulillah, you've done your research and now you can go home um, and Alhamdulillah enjoy Islam and you're guaranteed paradise. Any last questions before I let you go? Yeah? May Allah bless your sister. And yeah, alaikum. You've got Quran, right? At home, yeah, no problem. Be careful with your phone and yeah, Salaam Alaikum. Alhamdulillah. Subhanallah. What do you say to blur?